Here with senior Russell Hotton to preview the 2017-18 golf seasons at Concordia. Uh, first off, you're a senior from Centennial, Colorado. What brought you to Concordia? Yeah, I, I really just wanted to continue my golf career. Um, I loved playing golf in high school and I really didn't know what I wanted to do yet in college. And I saw this opportunity coach presented to me and I just took it. And, I've loved it ever since. You're someone who's uh, been a, a key performer ever since you got here. You've played in, in 39 rounds. Uh, what do you enjoy most about being part of a, a college golf program? Um, I like the behind the scenes stuff honestly the most. Uh, just practicing with my teammates every day and really the culture of our golf team is really so much fun and laid back. We always have a great time at practice and then when it comes to tournaments so we get a little more serious and definitely buckle down. You've played a, a lot of the courses in the area now, uh, probably quite a few that you're playing multiple times uh, now in your college career. What are some of the advantages just to having three years under your belt uh, as a college golfer? Yeah, definitely experience helps a ton and I know our top five, at least four of us will know almost every single course we play now will definitely help us out. Um, you know, there's some holes out there that have to be played a certain way, and if you're playing the course for the first time, you might not know that. And that can definitely help us out with gaining just a couple strokes, which can mean the whole difference at the end of the day. Now, you think of golf as, as such an individual sport, uh, but you were part of a, a pretty cool moment uh, when, when the team broke a, a team record for lowest round uh, with 288 at the, the Blue River Classic. Uh, how much pride do you take in, in being kind of part of something like that? Yeah, it definitely meant a lot to us. It pretty much just showed how much our hard work was showing. And I mean, I, I think this year we can definitely compete with that score again. We're going to have a very solid top five. Uh, one of your teammates, Nolan Zekas, a lot of people know kind of what uh, what kind of things that he's dealt with in, in his life. But what is it like to, to have him as a, a teammate? He's a great teammate, you know, he's always supportive and always there for you, helping you out with your swing or anything. And, you know, his personality just keeps the mood light around even when, you know, we're in a pressure situation or else or things get down a little bit. But he always helps lift up the team and changes the whole culture. I know seventh place in, in the G-Pack as a team is, is yeah. not where you guys want to be at. Uh, what, what do you have to do to, to kind of move up the ladder this year? Yeah, I think it's mostly just consistency. You know, we, uh, we, we finished the year last year with a bad taste in our mouth, and we just really need to um, focus on, you know, the fundamentals and, um, you yeah, know, just, we just got to keep going. Now, everyone's uh, obviously away from, from each other and away from campus. Uh, most people are away from campus during the summer. Uh, so what is a, a typical summer like for you uh, just as far as trying to, to get prepared for the, the coming season? Yeah, I, you know, I try to practice every day and stay fit in the weight room because um, definitely weight room is getting into, plays a huge part in the golf now. Um, but I, I try to play at least 20 times a summer and really just keep my game sharp. Um, normally coming into the fall it's a lot easier because you're coming in in mid-season four uh, compared to spring season where you have to start up right again. It's really hard to get your mojo again and feel comfortable swinging the golf club. But uh, I definitely like the fall season more because of that aspect, just how much preparation we can put in. Now, in your mind, what, what would have to happen for this to, to be a successful senior year that, that you could really be proud of? Um, well, I, I want to win another tournament personally, just individually, because I, I won one freshman year and I still, I still want another. But um, as a team, I think we can definitely break some records this year uh, as far as average score for the season and that low score of 288 definitely be broken and we want it. We're really working really hard to that. Okay, it's on to the real quick hitters yeah. now. Uh, what's been the most thrilling moment so far in your golf career? 
Uh, definitely winning individually freshman year when I shot 69. I was totally blown away by my performance, and that was just a great memory. It's the last concert you went to. Never been to a concert, actually. Yeah. When people ask you about Seward, what's the, the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, I think just the hometown feel. Um, just reminds, I'm from Minnesota, so it reminds me a lot of Minnesota, actually. Uh, if you're Netflix and chilling, uh, what are you watching? Watching Friends. So you're originally from Minnesota, yeah. but Centennial, Colorado is, is your hometown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's something your hometown then is known for? Mm, I think definitely the mountains because of just Colorado. I, I mean, in, I go back for the winters and I love snowboarding and skiing. And all my buddies do that sort of thing too. What's your favorite movie about golf? Tin Cup. Favorite scene from that? Um, probably where he hits the bird off, or the pelican off the post in the middle of the water. Dream job. I want to be a CFO of a major company. If you could play golf at any course in the world, what would it be? It's a tough one. Um, I would say Augusta National. What's your favorite Janzao or Doghouse Grill dish? Uh, I love the barbecue wings at Doghouse. Uh, how did, uh, I'm guessing you got to experience totality here. Yeah. That, right. Um, just how did that match up with what you expected? I, I didn't expect it to be so dark out, you know, it was, it just felt so eerie and kind of creepy out almost. And lastly, uh, how did you survive the, the Seward water crisis? Well, we tried to go to Walmart and there was no water, so Nolan actually wasn't to our apartment yet, so we had him bring in some water from Omaha. But, so we just got bottled water and it wasn't too bad for us. But. <laughs>